Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ash and the ring light is in my glasses, so this is not gonna work. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about what is reality. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First, I'd like to ask you if you know about the Schrodinger's cat thought experiment. If you don't, I'm gonna quickly describe what it was. So in Schrodinger's cat experiment, he imagined taking a cat and putting it in a sealed box. And in that box, he imagined that he would put a device that was poisonous. And that device had a 50% chance of killing the cat in the next hour. So in the end of the hour, he would ask himself, is the cat alive or is it dead? Now with common sense, we'd assume the cat is either dead or alive, right? But Schrodinger says, according to quantum physics, the instant before the box is open, the cat is dead and alive at the same time. So basically he's saying it is equal parts dead and alive the instant before the box is open. It is only when the box is open, we see the either dead or alive state of the cat. Until then, the cat is 50% dead and 50% alive. This is known as a quantum phenomenon called superposition. This thought experiment was done a long time ago and it, just as the title says, it was a thought experiment. Now there has been a recent experiment that's been done that says there is no such thing as an objective reality. In 1961, there was an experiment done by Eugene Rigner, which was a basically a replica thought experiment that Schrodinger did. His experiment showed us the strange nature of our universe, and it showed that two observers taking Wigner's and Wigner's friend would experience two different realities. Since this thought experiment, physicists have been calling this Wigner's friend experiment, or just Wigner's friend. <laughs> now in the last year, meaning 2018, physicists have advanced their technology and now can actually test this experiment. What Wigner did was he imagined there was a single polarized photon. Now the photon could be either in a vertical state or in horizontal state. But before observing, according to the laws of quantum mechanics, the photon is in a superposition state, meaning it could exist in both polarized states. He imagined a friend being in a different lab and measuring the state of the photon. Since Wigner had no information about his friend's measurements, he was forced to believe that indeed the photon would be in a superposition state. Now, Wigner believed that it was a fact that the photon was indeed in a superposition state. Now leading to the recent experiment that was done by Kaslav Bruckner, he recreated this experiment, but instead he used six entangled photons to create two alternate realities, one representing Wigner's reality and the other representing Wigner's friend reality. Well, it turns out indeed, just as Wigner stated, both realities can coexist, even though they produce conflicting outcomes. Physics has shown us at a microscopic level that we are made up of particles that literally go in and out of existence, shape shift, but of course our human eye cannot perceive that. Physics has shown us that the world is made out of very non-real elements. Physics has also shown us that we are not actually physically touching anything because of electron repulsion. So basically you're hovering when you're sitting on a chair, you're actually hovering. I'm gonna move on into the spiritual part of it and I will explain to you what are my beliefs of what spiritually what reality is. Now being raised a Hindu, I have read in the Vedas that life is only but an illusion. This is called Maya in the Hindu scriptures. I believe that we only perceive the world with our five senses, which is seeing, smelling, touching, hearing, and tasting. Spiritually, you can understand the world way more than scientifically. And being spiritual has opened my eyes to so many things because I know the things that I learned in textbooks aren't actually facts. There are still theories, in fact. We don't understand the human brain yet. We don't understand the world around us. It is very, very complex. 
but I believe evolution is happening and we're understanding more and more. I believe that we are spiritual beings just having a human experience. Now, I have those beliefs because of all the books I have read and all the experiences I have heard and all the videos I have watched. So yeah, basically what I want to say in summary is that quantum mechanics shows that reality is dependent only on the observer, so you. So you create your reality. Whatever you believe in is going to happen. So keep your thoughts positive, live in the moment, and enjoy life. Don't have any regrets, let the past go, because the past is in the past, and here is now. So enjoy the moment now. But anyway guys, this is all I had for what is reality. If you guys have any more questions about spirituality or parapsychology, then please let me know. I am currently a student, and I'm studying myself through online reading books about parapsychology. So, but I'm not very fond of quantum mechanics. It's very, very hard to understand. I hope you guys understood the experiments. It took me like two to three times to read these experiments to really get what was going on because it's like, wow, what is happening? How can the dad, how can the cat be dead and alive at the same time until you observe it? So if I was to observe the cat, I could see it alive. If my friend was to observe the cat, he could see it dead. It all depends on what you think you're gonna see and that's what you see. So yeah, I mean, I'm still like completely mind blown because reality is very, very strange. <laughs> but this new experiment is definitely a step forward of letting people know what reality really is. Let it connect to you in a deeper level instead of and let it connect to you in a deeper level instead of scaring you. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I wanted to mention a book. This is called 30 Signs by Bob Gebelin. I will read the back for you guys. I haven't read it yet, but I went to the book signing yesterday and um, I met Bob Gebelin. He seems like a wonderful person and he has had extreme experiences, but um, I believe this book is gonna be a hit and I've read a first few pages and it's pretty good. But anyway, it says, establishment scientists are trying to tell us that there is no reality beyond the physical. This has not been provided scientifically, so they use unscientific methods, such as ridicule and power politics, to force it on the academic community, blocking our knowledge of whole dimensions of reality, the mental and the spiritual. Dirty science exposes this corruption in our accredited, in our accredited academic institutions and calls upon you the intelligent reading public to put pressure on them to clean up this mess. Rock on bro, rock on. <laughs> so yeah, I will update you guys what I think about this book in a couple of weeks. I don't know when I'll be finishing it up, but yeah, um, I mean, the back was just, the, this little part was just as interesting enough for me to get this book and read it. But yeah guys, um, thank you so much for tuning in. I just really wanted to mention that book because I believe it's gonna open a lot of minds and a lot of eyes. So please get that book and read it. But thank you so much for tuning in. Be positive and just be here now.